Hello and welcome back to another video with LaserEngravingBusiness.com. In today's video, I wanted to go over a cool little trick that I use to help me save a lot of time and a lot of frustration when taking off masking tape. Masking tape can be one of those things that um, just takes a lot of time. It's it's um, really gets to be kind of annoying after a while, after you, you, you've got several projects laying out and you have to take all the tape off and uh, you may have some, uh, some small little pieces that you have to get out and it can just be really, uh, really become a nuisance. So I just wanted to share this cool little trick with you guys and um, I hope you like it, hope you find some, some value from it and I uh, hope it really helps some of you guys. So stay tuned. Okay, so I just printed out this quick little um, deal here and all it is is engravings just to demonstrate the uh, trick I'm talking about. So you're gonna have to get some um, black Gorilla tape and I'll post a link in the description so basically you want to start off like normal and you're gonna just re remove the big pieces which isn't a, a big deal typically and I'm using a uh, dental pick here And so, as you can see, after you remove the big pieces, you have those smaller pieces in between the letters, the rectangles and squares, and maybe just some stuff that didn't uh, come off all the way. So, um, a cool little thing that I figured out is you can take this black Gorilla Tape and just tear off a piece that you'll need to cover the area that you need to take the masking tape off and put it on that area and just make it stick real good with a flat sharp edge kind of like how you apply masking tape and if you um, want to know how I apply masking tape to my material I'll post a link to a video that I made on that also. So once you have the tape smashed down really well, all you're going to do is pull it off and you can see all of the tape that came off. And this stuff is pretty harsh and I am doing it on MDF draft board. So it did take a little bit of that, that top layer off of that. Um, if you're doing it on wood, you may need to just give it a light sand with 220 grit sandpaper to uh, get all the, all the wood burrs off that you might've made from the tape. So it came off there. I see that there is a little bit that stayed on here with these letters. So, and they came off that time. All of the little pieces that had leftover tape has been completely removed and it didn't take any time at all and it was not a lot of trouble. So typically you would have to go in with your dental pick or the tool of your choice and you would have to go in between each letter and pull off that tape and uh, sometimes if you're using a veneered type of plywood when you go in with your dental pick you can sometimes chip away at some of that uh, some of that wood and um, this stuff here you have a better chance of not messing up your project so i really like this trick 
it uh it's been so take a look you can see all of the tape that we were able to pull off with the black gorilla tape it didn't take any time at all and so i hope you guys enjoyed this this tip hope it helps some of you and as always like this video subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more content more tips more projects more ways to make money um, we'll constantly be adding content so thanks for watching